Hello, my name's Paddy and I run a little business from Bristol in the United Kingdom called creativemedia.org.uk. I'm doing a sound production course at the moment and I've got an exercise in which I have to create a tutorial video explaining how to edit in perfect audio performance to correct the timing. I'm using the Reaper digital audio workstation and I'm using a Darabuka drum. First I'm going to bring this into Reaper. I've got a channel set up with a correct name. I'm going to drag that in dump it in there. I'm playing at around 120 beats per minute but I didn't use a metronome so this is not going to be perfectly in time. Here is my region, this grey bit here, so I'm going to roughly chop the edges so I can drag that near the edge where I can see my waveforms and I'll use the slide tool to slide that to the beginning of the bar. This is where my proper drumming actually starts. That's good. Oh that's out. Oh this is really out. So I need to move things into the correct positions. So what I could do is just go to after the first beat there, slice there, after the next beat, slice there, etc, slice there, and move each of these things individually. I've got my snapping on so I could move them to exact positions where they're meant to be. But that would take quite a while because how many beats are there there? A lot of beats. So I'm going to undo these changes and see if Reaper can do something a bit cleverer. I'm going to right click, item processing, dynamic split items, that looks promising. Dynamic, that's to do with things that change. What's changing here is the amplitude. Now split points at transients, this looks like it's going to split things for me. A transient is a high amplitude, short duration sound at the beginning of a waveform. And if you look here, we can already see there's lots of red lines this looks like it's got it just right. There's a red split line at the beginning of every single beat. So I'll click on split. That's chopped up my drum beats into lots of separate regions, each of which is a beat. Let's try that. Right, nothing's changed yet. It's left everything where it was, which is what it's meant to do. Now what I can do, if I want is move each of these things to snap to a grid line but again that's going to take quite a long time because there's lots of pieces there so I'm going to see whether Reaper can do something for me again. I'm going to select all of these try this item processing again. Right, quantize item positions to grid that sounds like just what I want. Click that, 1 16th, seven quavers. So I'll click process, things have moved, let's listen to that now. That's still a long way out. That's because I left gaps between each element of the rhythm. So I'm going to have to move some of these bits around, but probably not as much as I would have had to do. This second part of the rhythm is a bit late, so I'm going to move that back a bit earlier than it was. That's it. I remember this big beat here is on the first beat of the bar, so I can move that back to this bar 9 line. There's a little bit there which I don't want. Let's remove that. This last section needs to go back a bit as well I think. That's all pretty good in time. You notice a few things like the, the ring of some of these drums is cut off so I can, I can extend some of these. I'm going to use my modifier key to let me not snap to things this time. I can lengthen some of these a little bit, make some of these go a little bit earlier, so I get the beginning of the drums. Out of an untimed drum track, played not to a metronome, that's pretty good going. What you can do, now these drums are all separated, is take an individual drum, like these kind of left hand hard hits, and move them to a different track to do different things to them. Here's one I've prepared earlier, I've got a track here called Snare Hand where I've put some effects on just those kind of snare hits, I put a bit of echo and a bit of very short echo to make it a bit dubby and I've added some extra instruments here as well and here's what I've ended up with. Well thanks for listening and watching, I hope that makes your work as an editor a lot easier.